Hi, boys and girls. I would like to review a few different letters with you today, and those are the letters Q and X. And they're actually the last two of all the 26 letters that we are going to be practicing. And then after this, we're going to be doing some more digraphs and some long vowels. But today I want to practice Q and X. So the sound for Q, and it's always followed by the letter U, they're like a team, is qu. And the sound for X is X. And we're gonna hear some songs and do some moves and figure out why those sounds are what they are. All right, are you guys ready? So here's the poster for Q U, which says qua. Just like a duck says quack. That beginning sound qua and quack, that's a Q U sound. All right, so if you were looking at Q and you're reading or writing, what you are going to see is this right here. Um, big uppercase Q is a big tall letter and it looks like an O, but it has a little line right through it. And then lowercase Q um, is a special kind of letter. What kind of letter is it? A hanging letter. And if it went the other way, it would actually be what letter? It would be the letter G. But this is the letter Q and it goes the opposite way. It has a little tail. And if you spy this in your reading or writing, it is almost always going to be followed by what letter? U, because Q and U are a team. They go together. All right. So of course, there is a move for Q. When we're doing Q, Q, U, Qua, put our hands up and we pretend that we are ducks. We go Qua, Qua, Qua. Can you try that? Qua, Qua, Qua. So that's the move for Q, U. And of course, since there's a move, there is a song. Um, and here is the song right now. I hope you guys like it. I think this one is fun. All right. Qua. Cool. they go together, they make what sound again? Qua, qua, like in quack. So the move for Q is qua, qua, qua. Try it one more time. Qua, qua, qua. And of course, since there is a move for Q, there is a story for Q. And all of the words in this story have a Q followed by what letter do you think? A U. So every time you hear that qua, sound, even if it's at the end or in the middle or the beginning of a word, I want you to give me a thumb up, okay? And here is the story page for Q, U, like in queen and quiet and liquid and squirrel and quack. And remember, when you're doing Q, you're going to make your hands like duck beaks and you're going to go qua, 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 qua. All right, are you ready? When you hear that qua sound, give me a thumb up. Quentin quite enjoys going to the park with his family. They always take some stale bread so they can feed the ducks. And Quentin likes to give some to the squirrels too. When they see Quentin with a bag of bread, the squirrels scamper over quickly. Two squirrels grab the same slice. They begin to quarrel. That means they begin to fight squeaking at each other and tugging at the bread. The ducks also see the bread and rush to the side of the pond, quacking loudly, qua, qua, qua. Quentin throws pieces of bread into the pond for the ducks. Then Quentin pretends that he is a duck. What do you think he does? He goes, qua, 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 qua and opens and shuts his hands like a duck's beak. Oh, that is so wonderful. I hope you guys like that story. Um, and the last thing we are going to do with this Q, Q, U sound is we're gonna move these Qs. Of course, I put the Us after them so you wouldn't forget. We're gonna move them down. I put them right up here. We're gonna move them down and we're gonna make the sound and do the move for Q, U. Are you ready? Qua, 
Qua. Qua. One more time. Qua. 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 All right. And that is it for Q. Um, we are going to do a little picture sort later, but I want to jump into the next letter, which is the letter X. All right, so the letter X um, actually sounds like two different letters put together. It sounds like if you had a K or a C sound, a K, and you put an S right after it because it goes K, K. Do you hear it? So make a K sound, K, and then make the S sound, S. Put them together, K, K. That is your X. And here is the poster for... X, like X-ray, X-ray. And this boy is getting an X-ray in this picture. I wonder why. If you look, you can see something's going on with his arm. When I see his friend back there, he is taking a picture. Hmm. So the move for X is actually going to be you putting your hands right up. You're gonna go just like this, like you have a camera in your hand and you're gonna pretend to take a picture, like an X-ray picture. Are you ready? You're gonna go. Try it with me. All right, and if you were looking at X and you're reading or you're writing, it is going to look just like this. Our big capital X and lowercase x look very similar, almost exactly the same, except for lowercase x is a short little letter. And of course, uppercase x is a big tall letter. So there's our X's and you're reading or writing. If you spy those, they're gonna make that X sound. All right, and of course there is a song for X, so I'm gonna play it for you friends right now, and I hope that you enjoy it. Without further ado, here is the song for X. And I'm gonna make it nice and big for you. There we go. Oh, oh no, there we go. <laughs> the sound for X is Here is the song for X. Take an X ray. Take an X ray. Take an X ray. X ray on my hand. Let's look at some words for X. Box. Since there is a song for X, there is also a story for X. And if you hear the X sound at all, anytime during this story, I want you to give me a thumb up. So remember when we're doing X, we pretend to take an X-ray with an X-ray camera saying X, X, X. And there's a little boy getting an X-ray, like X like Fox and Box and Six and exit. All right, guys, are you ready for this? Get those thumbs ready. And without further ado, here is the story for X. Max and Alex are playing. They are pretending to be spacemen. Max, the alien, chases Alex, the astronaut, up a tree. Alex falls out of the tree and hurts his arm. Dad takes Alex and Max to the hospital where Alex has to have an X-ray. Alex has to keep his arm very still while the nurse takes the X-ray. Alex's arm is broken, explains the doctor. 
the nurse puts a plaster cast on Alex's arm so that he cannot move it and the bones will mend properly. All right, and the last thing we are going to do with the X is we are going to move it down. And as I move it, I want you guys to put your hands up and pretend you're holding that camera taking an X-ray. Are you ready? And we're gonna go. One more time. Good job, guys. All right, so the very last thing we are going to do is we are gonna take a look at some pictures and I want you to help me decide did they go in the Q, Q, or the X, X categories. The first picture I have is a question mark. Question, what do you think? Does it start with a Q or a X? Question, Q, Q. It goes in the Q category, Q question. And look, there's a U right after it, Q, U. I'm gonna put it right here, Q. The next picture I have should be easy, I hope. It is an X-ray. What do you think? Does it go in the Q or the X category? X, X-ray, X. You're gonna put it right in the X category. And the next picture that we have is a Queen, qua queen. What do you think? Q, qua or X, X, queen, qua. That goes in the Q group. And of course, there's a U right after it. Q, U, queen. And our last picture is a xylophone, xylophone, xylophone. Hmm, listen very closely. Xylophone. What do you think? Does that go in the Q, qua? or the X category. Hmm. That goes in the X category, xylophone. I know that's a little bit tricky, but it does have that X right there, xylophone. You have to use your super strong ear muscles with that one. All right, guys. So the last thing I'm going to have you do for me is I would like you to please go into the activity and you just have a couple worksheets to fill out that I have just put in four different slides this time because I noticed some of you were having trouble with just the size of the slides. So I wanted to make them a little bit bigger, the pages. So now it's four pages. So make sure that you do all four of them. It's still the same amount of work. I just made the, the pages a little bit bigger for you guys. All right. Are you ready to rock? <laughs> Bye.